Hi everybody, this is Delmar here, and today I figure I share a little story about something that happened to me based on a real life event that happened in an obscure Cartoon Network series. And it, it may sound kind of odd at first, like a day in someone's life that was based on a cartoon, what? Well, I don't know how this, how I thought of this memory because not saying I don't have bad memory or anything, but I don't remember a whole lot of stuff, and this memory just came to me like a few days ago as I was working and I don't know what triggered it but I figured well I remember that and it was it's kind of hilarious to look back at it so I figured I just share a little share this little story that happened when I was in second second or third grade and I know this title of the video is going to be kind of clickbaity and I'm trying not to but it's literally one of those things where I got done watching this cartoon this certain episode in a cartoon and then a few days later, the events from that cartoon happened in real life. That happened to me, actually. And it, and granted, the cartoon itself, I bet no one remembers. I only remember a little bit of this cartoon. I just got done re-watching it after, before I filmed this video. So before I actually talk about what happened to me, I want to talk a little bit about the cartoon or the episode that my day was based on a little bit. For those who don't know what cartoon I'm talking about, it's a cartoon series called Mucha Lucha. It was on Cartoon Network during the mid-2000s, and I don't remember a whole lot of it. It's mostly about these kids that go to learn about how to do wrestling moves, hence Mucha Lucha. All the characters have like outfits that you would probably see like if there was a Hispanic wrestling match, they would probably have uh, the personalities based with these masks and so forth. It was an alright cartoon. I don't remember watching a whole lot of it. I remember kind of catching a little bit in between sometimes and it was passable. But there was a certain episode on there that I remember a little bit called Honor Da Lucha. And in this episode, Ricochet steals this trading card from this one kid. Without even asking, like as his parents called his kid to come downstairs, uh, Ricochet, Ricochet sees that he has this one trading card that there was only 13 produced, so he decides to steal the card. And unfortunately, after that, when he when he gets home and goes to bed, he is haunted by the La Phantom. I can't pronounce it. The Phantom, basically, showing him like, "How dare you steal this trading card?" And like, just showing the consequences of what happens after he steals that card, being obsessed with it and everything. And he feels really bad stillness, so he goes over to this kid's house and says, Okay, I am so sorry that I stole this card. I did not mean to take it and hands it to him. And then the kid says, Eh, I got 12 more of them. You can have that one. It's a funny little uh, event to happen, but uh, actually, that cartoon itself, I think it works well for the more, you know, don't steal from other people or ask before receiving, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the cartoon, that's pretty much the only episode from the series that I distinctly remembered. Mostly because the exact same thing happened to me in a day in my life. Again, this happened when I was in second or third grade. And I remember that Yu-Gi-Oh was huge at the time. Like, this was during the golden age, I guess you could say, when Yu-Gi-Oh was extremely popular and all, all the kids played it. I played it, my brother played it, most of my friends played Yu-Gi-Oh! And there was one time, and this happened like a few days after I saw the episode, uh, my friend Andrew brought in over showing some of his Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. And there was one card in particular that I liked it. It was Celtic Guardian, only this one was different. It wasn't the normal card. He was an effect monster. I can't remember what his effect was, but Celtic Guardian was like one of my favorite monsters from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I had the normal card, but I didn't know that there was an effect version of Celtic Guardian. And unfortunately, I don't remember how, but I remember stealing it from Andrew without even realizing it. Like, I don't even remember how I took it home with me without him realizing it. I don't know. But I had the card with me, and I didn't think nothing of it. But then, over the course of the time before the next school day, I, I had major guilt. Because in real life, I have a major guilt problem. Like, my conscience t 
talks to me, like if I did something wrong, even if it's like a very small issue, like if I don't get done zoning my department or I didn't get something done, I will beat myself up because that was my responsibility. Or even like I forgot to go and see a friend on a day, I would feel major guilt because it was my responsibility to. I, even if it's something small, I will have major guilt for. I know that is kind of a fault with me, but at the same time, it's one that's like, I, I just don't want to let anyone down, and I don't want to like lie or betray anyone. I don't want to do that. So throughout that time night, I had nightmares of like, you know, stealing from people and just, you know, I just felt really bad. And it's like, okay, I gotta return this card to Andrew. So the next school day, I went over to him, and I had the Celtic Guardian in my hand. It's like, I am so sorry that I took this from you without asking or stole it. I feel really bad. And then he says, oh, that? Well, keep it, dude. I got like three other <laughs> types of that card. He has like three of the exact same card of the Celtic Guardian, uh, the effect version of it. And <laughs> I just... Yeah, it sounds odd at first, but I just vividly remember that event happening that actually happened in a cartoon. I just thought that was hilarious. Granted, I know no one probably even remembers Mucho Libre, but it's just a fun memory of me watching that cartoon, and then a few days later, the exact same events from that cartoon happened in real life. I just think that makes for a fun story, and I think there may be some people out there who can who may say oh I remember this one episode because it happened to me once like I think when we watch a show or something somehow or another the events from that show actually happen in real life whether we realize it or not unintentionally or not it's it just I just think it's a fun story to tell it's kind of a short video but I mean it's nothing anything grand or epic I just think that's a fun memory that just all of a sudden happened I haven't thought of this memory for so long and I do like it when I remember something from way back meaning that hey my memory's still good so in the comment section below if you had a day in your life that was based on a cartoon like the same events from the cartoon that you watched actually happened to you in real life let me know because I think that'd be a fun little discussion so anyway thanks for watching this short little story time with Delma uh, God bless you and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye!